DJ Sharp MC. Live, 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 live. Back on the track. Let's drop a beat. So I loaded up some sound and let's uh let's make a jam. Uh so I kinda like that. I wonder what tempo is that. So maybe we'll uh we'll lay it down and then figure out what tempo it is. Yeah, that kind of works. Kind of works. We'll see where it goes from here. Right, and I heard some uh, drum loops. Do what I want to do. Keep on moving. All right, we'll see if we can squeeze this puppy in there. Um, we have to figure out the tempo. All right, so let's just uh, record it in and then figure out how to fix it. So it looks like uh might have to stretch it a little bit, I guess. Or actually, can we change it to a loop? Maybe I'll just play it as a loop uh, using note on. Maybe that'll be. I can probably time it better. Gotta get it to 120. It said it was at 127. If I can, I just straight stretch it. All right. Let's see if that works. Tap, 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 tap. So one twenty seven. 
So let's record this at 127. Yep, that might be the way to go. So that takes care of that part. So I guess I should tap things out. That's 127. So if that's 127, then where is this one going to fall? Oh, it loops nicely. All right, so let's uh, play them together. Okay, so I guess that's the way to do it. I'll bring the first one in at its speed. Bring the second one in at its speed. And I guess I just have to tap tempo each time. So if I take this down to 120, let's see if it sounds corrected. So that part doesn't that part doesn't go at go back to see that part doesn't go at the 120. It goes at the 120. Okay, so that's 127, this one. Alright, well, kind of tricky, but I guess uh, as long as you keep things organized, you can figure it out. Okay, so this one sounds a little loud. But it's a nice, nice groove. And then my drums, let's play them solo. Let's go up a little bit. And then it sounds like it needs to be. So I think I'm gonna animate that over some bars. So let's see what's the best way to do it. I guess double this and then double it again. So now it's eight bars. Then go back to the filter effect. So I save it before I get too far. And then we're just gonna turn on the cutoff as we play it. Oh, I have to put it on the uh, record. Record automation. Go here. There, there, there. I'm going to mess with the cutoff. Just overdub it. Copy the track and call it drum A, because the first one will have the cutoff. Then we'll take this off solo, put it on mute, go to this one, take it off solo, put it on normal, and I need to take the record function off of this one. So I will first let's just play it. <laughs> Then let's erase the automation, 
erase automation cut off do it and so now it should be normal <laughs> Doesn't sound normal to me. Uh, let's check the cutoff. So the cutoff, pull it full. And we'll see if it's. Take the envelope off. in the red but we'll we'll leave it for now all right so we got that one and then we got our intro this will be part of the intro so let's check it out as part of the intro uh-oh it took the cutoff hmm so I think I had this issue before where I did the automation or oh, the automation is on the sequence. Uh, I have to make a new sequence in order to do that automation effect. Okay, so I'll do it after the fact because if I do it here, it'll do it on this sequence and you can only do that automation on the sequence, not on the track. So I took it off the sequence when I should have took it off the track. But anyway, that's okay. I'll fix it later. So I have to do that one on each sequence. All right. That's a interesting experiment though let's keep going so <laughs> Yeah. 
right, that was tricky. I guess working with loops takes a little bit more finesse. Loop uh, beat. These are clips that I downloaded. <laughs> that grooves and let's play it with the first sound see how it goes <laughs> Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. 
Keep on moving. Keep on moving. All right. Maybe we'll keep it like that. We'll make this a vocal track. We'll drop some quick vocal stabs in here. Keeps. And then to control the sound. Keep on moving. You didn't edit the one? Keep on moving. I had this issue before. The one that's here. Keep on moving. Still, still big. So I need to figure out how to reload that sound. So I go to sample edit. Keep on moving. That's the sound I want. Process. Discard. Keep on moving. Go back to main. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Cleaned up. Then um, I have to do note on so it doesn't get out of control. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. And I think I'm going to do a semitone adjustment on this one. Keep on moving. Keep on. Keep on. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Let's do some fine keep adjustments. Keep on move. Keep on move. Keep on move. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. All right, let's uh, let's play the beat. Keep on moving. 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 Undo all of these and change it somewhere else. There's the master, there's the sample. Go to main, keep on moving. Sample edit, go to tune, fine tune it. Uh, 125, do it. Keep on moving. It's too fast. <clears throat> So zero nine five do it. Keep on moving. Keep on keep on keep on moving. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. All right, let's see if that goes. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Little bit faster. Keep, 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 two. Uh, one, oh, two. All right, what are you gonna do? One, oh, two. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Little bit out of tune, so keep on moving. That's uh, let's go down in notes. Keep on moving, keep on moving. And let's change this to 99, maybe. Keep on, keep on moving. And let's tighten it up. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. All right, kind of like it, but I think I'm going to do some effects on it to kind of give it some more punch because it sounds kind of flat. 
Let's start with a uh, reverb, maybe. Keep on moving. 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 Maybe that goes. Let's see if we can get it in here. Keep on moving. 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 Keep on sounds a little bit delayed so i'm gonna try another fancy trick i'm doing all these fancy tricks these days i'm gonna highlight all of the start sequences go to my time correct put it on 64th go back to my track and shift it 164th back keep on moving Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Yep, that took care of it. All right, so first, let's put it back on 16th before I mess everything else up. Then let's expand it and get rid of that stutter piece because I didn't really flesh it out, so it doesn't really help. All right, let's save it. And then let's uh, check it out. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Sounds like I can go. I can probably go one more 64th over. Just one more. So time correct 64. Keep that there. Come here. Highlight it all. Go back 164. Let's try it. Let's save it. And let's try it. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. All right. I think that's, that's pretty solid. She's going to keep on moving. I'm going to keep on moving. All right, what's next? Losing my control. Uh, Keep on moving, losing my control. I think I'll bring this in just because uh, we're trying to get more sophisticated. So let's bring in multiple layers. So we go to sample edit. We're going to tighten it up again. We'll be smart this time and hit discard from the start. Losing my control. And then I got to fix the vocal. Uh, let's see if it'll go straight. Losing. Actually, let's just label it vocal. Losing. And let's save. <clears throat> then let's drop it. Get bomb. Get losing my losing losing my control. All right, let's play it with the beat. Losing my control. Yep, I think it'll go. Keep on moving. Losing my control. Wow. 
starts a little bit delayed, this first one. Man, this is editing is starting to become a big part of making beats these days. Uh, what time correct are we on? We're on 64th, that's why. Should put it back on 16th. Hmm. All right, well, at least from here, I can fix it. I just go back one, go to time correct, put it on 16th, do it, go to main. Losing my control. Losing my control. All right, that's perfect. So then we need we need a nice steady beat now, something that grinds. Let's find something. Not grinding that hard. Like that, but that'll probably have to be a break. That's interesting. That's interesting. That's interesting. I think that's a groove. I hope I can get the beat right. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's try it. First, let's clean it up. Note on. You guys heard it, but I'm gonna listen to it again. Losing my control. Losing my control. Losing my control. Wow, that's pretty good. I might have to continue from here. Because that's a that sounds like a jam right there. So if she's losing her control, what happens if she Keep on moving? Keep on Continue from here, because this is where we are. 
to the song, three parts to the sequence, uh oh, I shouldn't be on this track, which means it didn't copy, right, didn't copy, let's do it again, sequence, main one, B, do it, do it, back, now I'm on the right spot, all right, okay, so we're here, <laughs> So from 
here. Losing my control. Losing my control. So this one with the four, um, it's going to follow the break. What's the break? The break is the three, kick, hat, vocal. And then this one is no kick, hat, vocal, drum loop, drum A. Um, I think it flows. So let's, uh, let's just make it follow. So I guess main four. Beat is taking a turn that I didn't expect. But I need to start, you know, playing by ear since I don't have a lot of actual music skills. I have a lot of DJ skills and I have a lot of drum skills, but I'm not a keyboard player type per se or anyone who went to a real school for music. I'm actually a video game producer. So, but uh, let's check it out. <clears throat> that goes we're up to four 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 b now this beat's gonna start getting long if i don't start figuring out the endpoints. actually i think i need to loop back around to the beginning so i'll play this one oh actually maybe i can test that other function now that other function is where is it at where is it at next sequence so let's test for B Losing my control. oh you can't uh, oh maybe can I play it oh I can Losing my control. So you can use this to figure out the sequence. I haven't used it yet. It's the first first time I've actually used it. But you can just kind of tap through and figure out your sequence. But uh, I'm gonna come back to to that part because I need to figure out where this beat's going from here. what I'm going to do is do a live edit on this sequence. It's going to come after 4B, so I'll make it 4C, but I'm going to do a live edit on it. Sequence main 4C. Do it. Okay, so then the live edit will look like this. It'll go... 
edit we'll play it just once and it'll play it once from here we'll see if this makes sense for you. yep it makes sense to go there so this is 4c break i think it is 4 4 c break Main four break. All right, so this will be main four break. And now this beat's getting kind of long, so I'm gonna have to start doing the intros and the outros. So it'll go main four break. We'll drop to this, maybe bring in this. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. So I'll do this, but I'll do another live edit because I think the keep on moving uh, it sounds like it happens too often. So this will be, am I up to five? I'm up to five. This will be main five. Actually, it sounds like uh, maybe I'll make it outro. Then we can start finishing this beat off. So that's outro. And then I'm going to go in and edit it because it plays to keep on moving too frequently. So let's, let's do it early. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. All right, we'll save that. And then I think I have another keep on moving in the beginning. Sequence one, maybe? Nope, sequence two. Oh, I never used it. I never got there. Nope, I never got there. All right, cool. All right, so then uh, that's five. Keep on moving. We'll do that. Busy. Hey, why is it playing both of those? That loop. Uh oh, somebody, somebody changed. Hat loop. Hat loop and drum A are the same, and it's not supposed to be the same. So hat loop solo, and then drum A solo. So somebody changed. All right, so I could easily figure you out. I go to my samples, and who is duplicated? here you'll always be mine somebody changed and has the wrong sound do what I wanna do hmm all right, so drum A, I don't remember what you were. Well, that's kind of ghetto. So something got switched. Hat loop and drum A. So drum A. And then hat loop. So 
hat loop and drum may have the same sound. Sample edit. So. Oh, that's what it is. Hmm. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to fix it. I think it's probably too late. We just have to sacrifice it. And I'll have to figure out a better way to do it next time. Because I'm pretty deep in my beat. So that's hat loop. Oh, drum A. I didn't have two drums. I thought I had two drums because I was trying to copy it. Oh, yeah. Because I was going to edit one to have the cutoff so now they're the same so do i use um i don't know if i have time to change it i don't think i have time to change it i'm gonna have to figure out how to add something else in all right let's see what we are on the beat this is you know i think we got pretty far with it so let's see hold down a hold down record main one one a one b one two 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 and then I think uh, let's go to the first one. We'll hit insert and we'll make it the outro. And then that'll give me a place to start. All right. So let's check out the beat. Let's save it first. Let's check out the beat. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Losing my control. So we definitely can't do that jump. That's too big of a jump. So uh, let's go to outro. And it's vocal and lead. Go back to here. It's vocal and lead. And I need to get to a different spot from here. Uh, let's see how that sounds. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. All right, I think this will be uh, start or intro. I guess it's got to actually be intro. So if I do this for intro, then I need to do a different beat to get to outro. Outro is, outro is vocal and lead. Intro is vocal and loop. So start can be start can be lead by itself. We'll make start leap uh, start the lead by itself. And then I'll still have to figure, I think it jumps to the, the other beat, so I can't quite get there yet, but we're pretty close. So I have to come here, insert one, make it the start, or make it the intro, then insert one, and make it the start. <laughs> Maybe I'll live do some effects or Backwards. This one needs to be intro. 
this one needs to be outro. All right. Shift save. And I think this is going to be the beat. Unless it hiccups when I'm playing it. Let's check it out. Keep on moving. 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 Next time, see you next time, see you next time, sharp CP, sharp CP, sharp CP, sharp CP. Sharp CP. Sharp CP. Sharp CP. Sharp CP.